let's learn about the group by clause in mysql so your group by clause in mysql is going to allow you to group rows and it is very often used with aggregate functions like the count the min the max sum and average let's try to understand this with the help of an example so your use case is your business stakeholders say hey can you show me number of customers in each city right the way you do that is you write this sql statement which says select count of customer ids because you want to count the number of customers so you say count of customer ids and then you say city because you want to count the number of customers in each city from customer which is your table name this is the table which contains the information about all your customers and then you group it by city now let's understand how this would work visually so let's say you have a table like this that has five rows and has five cities right or rather three cities so your first customer lives in mumbai your second customer lives in delhi third customer lives in mumbai fourth customer lives in chennai and fifth customer lives in delhi so when you run this select group by statement which says select count of customer id again we are counting the customer ids in a particular city and then you are grouping it by city when you do that you would get a table that looks like this again why do we get a table that looks like this is because we have two customers row 1 and row 3 that live in city mumbai we have one customer or rather two customers city uh, row 2 and row 5 who live in city of delhi and we have one customer who is in row 4 who lives in the city of chennai so your group by syntax looks like this which is select column name from table name in our case it was the customer then you specify a condition if you want to specify a condition it's an optional thing and then you finally specify the group by clause now let's try to explain this with a demo so i've written select star from customer and this is our table we have about 16 rows of data here we have the names we have the address city postal code and country now remember the use case is we want to show the number of customers the number of customers that belong to each city so what i can do is i can remove this and remember the syntax select what do i need i need to count because i want to count the number of customers count customer id comma now what do i need i need to see the customer ids or i want to count the customer ids within each city so i'm going to say city from now the table name is this which is customer and then i can say group by city okay so when i do this and i click on run i will get this information so what this means is johnsonville has one customer anaheim has one customer chicago has one customer delhi has two customers ottawa has two customers and so on now remember we can also add the where condition so let me remove this and type in select star from customer and let's click on execute now let's say if i only want to see the count of customers the number of customers in united states or in india what i would do is let's paste the previous statement here so again select count customer id i'm counting the customers city from from this table customer where country equal to united states and then i would group by city so what this would do is it would count the customers it would group it by city but the data set would only look at customers who live in united states so let's run this command and see what we get there you go okay now i can change this i can also put this to change this to india and there you go i get five rows and i get i see that there are two customers who live in delhi one customer who lives in bhubaneswar chennai meerut and nashik so that's how you use the group by clause you use uh, it mostly with the aggregate functions uh, such as you know count sum min max average again these are typical business use cases where the product manager or leadership comes and tells you can you tell me how many customers uh, we have by by city or can you tell me uh, the total sales we made by year this 
दो स्टेटमेंट्स belong to group by clause so i hope you learned something new and now in the next video i'll show you how to use the having clause and the reason we have having clause